Hey, I figured I'd do a little update on Tahoe. Um, there's been some changes the last year or so. I haven't really showed anyone. Um, <clears throat> I guess kind of the first major thing is like wheels and tires. It always stands out quite a bit. So I put these um, H3 wheels on there and they have 283, 75, 16 Duratrax and they fit without rubbing. Um, there's a video about that I made, but this has been great. I really love it. Um, I'll do a level kit at some point. Um, I've had these tires for maybe 20,000 miles and they still look super new. And I ended up, I w did actually buy these tires used, but that's quite a bit of tread left and they ride great and don't make a whole lot of noise. The rears, they have a little more wear on them because the couple I bought them from, three of them are brand new and two had like 10,000 miles on them. So they have a little bit more wear. We've got our good old custom rust here, <clears throat> getting bigger by the day. Another kind of a, I don't know if I want to call it a facelift, but kind of something else stands out. So I put a bull bar on there, just an eBay bull bar. I think they paid like 85 bucks, probably not the sturdiest, but it looks good. and. If it works it works it's got a nice dent in it already but kyx um not too bad they go where the tow hooks are again it's not the sturdiest thing but it's pretty much just for looks <clears throat> Um, let's see. Um, I did get the speed engineering long tube headers, and then I ended up getting a new intake as well. So let's open up the hood and take a look at that. <clears throat> I don't have the Vortec cover on it, but I got a different intake. Before I had one that kind of just came out here. So this one goes directly to the uh, throttle body. I can do a video about the um, speed engineering headers as well to review. They weren't as great as I thought they would be, but they work. It's also been tuned. Um, it was tuned at Barnyard Garage and it's on a, a 90, 91 tune. 